the congrats on the show, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Billions, I see you just popped in. Hey, and you never know who I'm going to have on the show. I mean, everybody is super surprised that I would sit down and have a conversation with my ex. And of course, they, there's all these assumptions and all these different things. And yes, it is juicy and all the. And normally, I'm a closed book about things. Um, but I felt like this show was a way for me to... Um, oh, crack the window a little bit and let y'all in. Um, but in the way that I would want my story told or just the way I would want it done. Um, oh, there we go. Boom, bow. Meek always be on it. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Let's see. Be sure to like, share, and Let's subscribe. See. How do I get over my ex? How do I? Ooh, that depends. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. I'll say that. Subscribe. Chris, subscribe. So y'all, if Chris is subscribing, it's, if he has his subscription, you got to subscribe. I think I see Stacy in here, my sister. Hi, Sissy. I love you. I owe you a 14 phone calls. Do not get out your belt. I promise you. I'm, it's been crazy. As you can see, it's been crazy. It's release week. They've been on me. They've been like right here, making sure that I'm all up on my interviewing and my publicity this and publicity that to make sure I talk about the show. So I'm calling you back, Stace. I promise you. What was I saying? I was saying something. What was I saying? I was saying. I was answering questions. Somebody said, how do you get over an act? Babe, I don't know. Um, it depends. You know, it depends on your process. Uh, for me, I'm a person that, first of all, you have to set the healthy boundaries. Um, distance is always important for me. It's harder for me to get over someone that's still like in my face all the time or I'm we're still having con you know conversation. It's hard to let go when they're still they still have a presence in your life. So creating a healthy boundary um between you guys. Um also releasing them in love. I think a lot of people, because we get a lot of times when we in relationships, it's because we got hurt or something bad happened or this and this. And we like, I hate them and the horse they rode in on. And when I see them and I'm a key, they cry. It, nah, it don't have to be like that all the time. Regardless if something didn't work out, regardless of how it ended, then I feel that you should still release that person in love. The forgiveness has to be there. If not, you're doing a disservice to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like by you um continuing to harp on this and that and being bitter like you're carrying that with you you know uh so i would say forgiveness release them in love prayer i listen to music to help me get over people i got like a whole playlist um with those unbreak my heart records uh the torn records and and others but like i I uh, definitely, thank you, Tori, for subscribing. I see that. I would definitely say that prayer, I listen to my gospel music because it'd be me and Jesus when I'm trying to get over somebody in my puddle of tears. <sighs> Just praying that the pain will end and uh, I can move on. Um, and also keep in mind, a lot of times, especially when you know, you're the one that decides to end the relationship or the relationship ended possibly because of somebody else. I'm gonna fill y'all in on a little secret. Y'all ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. Your heart might not be ready for this. While you're at home crying and going through the motions and doing the proper self-care to get over the situation, Nobody's gonna tell you that, but I am. They're out living their absolute best life. They're not crying about it. They're moving on and enjoying themselves. And even if it's a situation where they might feel something a little later, but keep in mind, they not pro they're probably not crying as hard as you were. So if that helps you with your process, <laughs> if that helps you with your process, keep living. I see that in the comment. Keep 
living, because guess what? They are. So do you. Get out. Work out. You know, do your therapy. You worry about what I like to say is your side of the street. Keep your side of the street clean and, 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 and the way it's supposed to be. All right? For me, I do love to work out. So I'll go out work out. Yes, I go and have, you know, dinners with my friends. I'll do my therapy. I'm listening to my sermons. But at the end of the day, like I give myself a few days to try and shake that off. But I'm not finna live there. Cause nine times out of ten, dang. 